let's uh, look at watercolor. <clears throat> we'll give you uh, four options when you go to the, to the chlorophyll. This is uh, measuring your uh, chlorophyll is green. It's what makes your grass green in your yard. And it's, uh, it's found in the plant version in, of the plankton, the phytoplankton. And so where you have uh, higher concentrations of plankton, you've got greener, more turbid water. So we have four options for you. The top two are, are the same shot. You can see that the clouds are the same configuration. Uh, they're from the same satellite sensor, Modus Aqua. It's the, uh, the difference is that um, this is the, the, the imagery that we've been using the last you know, several years. This has been a very good image source, but last fall, uh, the server, the NASA server went down and we were without any chlorophyll for an extended period of time. And I got a lot of feedback on that. And so we spent a lot of time and effort and money to uh, create this, these other options for you. And I'm, I'm real happy with what we have here. Um, so the, the modus, the NOAA modus aqua is uh, the backup for the NASA modus aqua. If the if the server goes down again, we've got a backup. It's a little bit coarser imagery. Uh, I prefer the uh, NASA Modus Aqua, but if it's not available, we do have data for you to look at. And then we have two new uh, sources down here: uh, the Modus Terra and then the Veers. Um, I'm finding that the Veers is very very good. Um, I uh, I'm kind of almost liking it a little bit better than our our original. Uh, so we've got, I can see that we have data in the area that we're interested in. And uh, although, you know what, I don't really want to look at that because uh, for whatever reason, we didn't get a shot last night. And we're, we're waiting on the shots tonight. The, the key is on, on chlorophyll is the constraining factor is you only get one shot a day on each of these sensors. So uh, that's... Uh, <clears throat> One of the advantages of providing these other two shots is that they're, they're shot at different times of the day, so the clouds could be moving and actually giving you a little bit better data. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this Modus Terra from last night um, and see how it compares to uh, our latest sea temp shot. So you can see that... Um, because you get so many more generations of sea surface temperature shots, I can tell you with uh, a fair amount of certainty that this is where the river rip, this is the red is your ugly, dirty, brown, fresh river water. It's got water hyacinths in it. Uh, you really want to avoid this. You're, it's really not going to be somewhere you want to fish. But these edges where that fresh influx of nutrient rich water meets up with uh, some very nice uh, blue uh, ocean water. This is uh, a great area to, uh, to, to catch uh, wahoo, tuna, marlin. Uh, so I can tell you that this color change is now here, which is identified by this tent break down here. So uh, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to save this because uh, this is of interest to me. Um, when we get the later shot tonight, I can tell you that it will be uh, more, uh, it will t be more in line with this, this latest uh, sea temp shot. And, and in the Gulf, everything changes so fast. I mean, you can, you can go to bed one night offshore and, and wake up and the water will be completely different. The current switched, you know, and, and you can pull it up in the morning and, and realize, okay, here's his site, and it's it shows exactly what it's like now. I need to go this way or that way without, you know, trying to get a fax or an email or everything. You pull up your iPad, punch it in, and here you go. This is what I need to do. It's right there, you know, real-time data. That's what we have to have. We have to be able to adapt and move and, and, and do it. You know, we got two and a half days to make it happen. We need every benefit we can in that two and a half days to make it work.